I promise you, VLOOKUP is wasting your time. If you find yourself trapped in this mad loop of learning, forgetting, and relearning VLOOKUP every single time you have to use it, you're in good company because the struggle is so real. It's a frustrating function, especially because the problem it's supposed to solve is just super important and comes up all the time. But today, the madness stops, at least for you, because you're about to learn XLOOKUP, the modern, simpler replacement to VLOOKUP. I'll guide you through what you need to know, but trust me, you're gonna love XLOOKUP. Now, everything has a purpose. First, let's understand the job to be done. Let's take a look at a few movies, and I'm curious for you movie fans if you've picked up on what these movies have in common. All right, so here's my question. Are these movies worth my time? One rating system we can use is IMDB ratings. Okay, so this table we just built, let's call this our main table. Here's the thing. I've been duped by rating systems in the past, and now I don't trust any one single rating. That's why I also want to look at Rotten Tomatoes ratings, specifically their tomato meter. That one measures what the professional critics think. Now, in an ideal world, our data would be neatly organized in one place, right where we need it. But we have a problem. The real world is messy. Data is usually scattered across various tables, like our tomato meter data, which is sitting in some other table. It becomes our job to retrieve data from where it is to where we really need it. Take it from an Excel pro. The ability to retrieve data from some other table is one of the most important Excel skills that you can learn. It's often what separates beginners from intermediate and advanced users. That's the job to be done. Now, XLOOKUP makes this job of retrieving data as simple as you can possibly make it. Still, I don't want you falling into another mad loop where you learn, forget, and relearn how to write the formula. So to understand what XLOOKUP is really doing, I spent possibly too much time building visual intuition. Let's introduce XLOOKUP to our scenario. To get the job done, XLOOKUP is going to ask three basic questions. First, what thing are you trying to get data for? In our case, it's movies, listed in our main table. And if we start with the first row, that would be Wonder Woman. Second, where should XLOOKUP search for Wonder Woman? In our case, we'll search in our other table. Remember, that's where our tomato meter ratings are. But we want to specifically search for Wonder Woman in the movie title column, one by one from top to bottom. And once XLOOKUP finds a match, it stops searching. Now, quick heads up. In a moment, I'm going to share two really important things you need to know about matching. But for now, let's move on to the third question. Once it finds a match for Wonder Woman, XLOOKUP is going to ask you for the corresponding column that has the data you want to retrieve. We want data from the tomato meter column. And at last, XLOOKUP brings back Wonder Woman's tomato meter rating. Did you catch that logic? Just tell XLOOKUP what movie do you need data for, where XLOOKUP should search for that movie to find a match, and last, which column has the corresponding data we want to retrieve. With these three steps in mind, let's watch XLOOKUP repeat the process for Casino Royale and Lion King. What movie, where to search for that movie, and what defines a match, What's the data to retrieve? Boom, that's how the job gets done. Now, if I've lost your attention even a little bit, now's the time to bring it back because there are two things you need to know about matching. First, XLOOKUP searches for an exact match. So if the data has a typo, like we have here with Wonder Women, or if the title is just written differently, XLOOKUP will not find a match. This idea of looking for an exact match isn't specific to XLOOKUP or even Excel for that matter. Rather, it's a fundamental data concept that comes up all the time. Okay, second thing you need to know. XLOOKUP retrieves data for the first match and only the first match. Let's introduce the 2017 live action Wonder Woman. Since both movies have the exact same title, XLOOKUP can't tell the difference between the two movies. So what it'll do is retrieve only one value and it'll be for the first Wonder Woman it finds and it'll ignore all others. Having two different movies listed under the same name is bad practice, but it happens. So just be careful. Keep these two concepts in mind as you're crafting the formula. And speaking of formulas, you're about to see how the visual intuition you just built perfectly explains how to write an XLOOKUP formula. Remember, to get the job done, we have to tell XLOOKUP three things. What movie? where to search, what data to retrieve. XLOOKUP just makes sense. I mean, doesn't its simplicity beg the question, why use VLOOKUP at all? 
Now, understanding how XLOOKUP retrieves data didn't actually require Excel, but to truly master it and to build your confidence, practicing in Excel is a must. Of course, we'll cover the basic scenario, but stay to the end to see how pros use XLOOKUP to handle a more complex but surprisingly common situation, like when there are multiple movies with the same title. Now, if you want hands-on experience, check the link in the description for the same Excel file I'll be using. All right, let's get it. Here we have our two familiar data tables, just with a few more movies included. So starting in cell D4, let's write equals XLOOKUP, open parentheses, the movie we want data for, so Wonder Woman in cell B4, comma, then the second part, where to search for Wonder Woman. So we want to search the movie titles data in our other table. That's column I, which I'll select by clicking on the I, then comma, and last, what data we want to retrieve. That would be our tomato meter data in column J. Let's close parentheses, hit enter, and boom. Let's copy that formula all the way down by clicking on the bottom right-hand corner of the cell with our formula. Look how easy that was. Now check this out. XLOOKUP has an additional feature I haven't told you about. Here's an annoying situation. Imagine we were missing data in our other table. That means XLOOKUP can't find a match for Wonder Woman and West Side Story. That's why we're getting errors. In this situation, you can give XLOOKUP a fourth direction for what to output in place of an error. For example, I can write anything I want, like no data, which we'll put in quotes since it's text. So now XLOOKUP outputs no data instead of an error. VLOOKUP can't do that. Congrats, with XLOOKUP in your Excel toolkit, you have the skills to solve the majority of data retrieval tasks. But you might be surprised to know that you're this close to reaching an advanced level. Remember earlier when we introduced a live action Wonder Woman that shares the same title as the animated movie? So XLOOKUP won't know which movie to retrieve data for? In fact, every movie in our data set has been remade, but kept the same exact movie title. That's a big problem, but we can differentiate Wonder Woman release in 2017 from Wonder Woman release in 2009 if we include their year with the movie title. There's a few ways to combine cells. In Excel speak, we call this concatenation. The way I'll show you is to combine movie and year using an ampersand. It's super simple. Starting in cell B4, we'll add a new column, then write equals our movie title, Wonder Woman, ampersand, then our year, 2017, and hit enter. Copy that formula down. Now every movie has its own unique identifier, something specific to that movie. Let's do the same for our other table. Equals L4, ampersand, M4, hit enter. Copy that down. And now we can easily write our XLOOKUP formula. Starting in F4, we'll write equals XLOOKUP, open parentheses, now, rather than selecting just Wonder Woman, we'll select the combined movie and year in B4, comma, search for Wonder Woman 2017 in column K, and last, retrieve data from column N. And we get our correct rating for Wonder Woman released in 2017. Let's copy that down, and boom, the job is done. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We're a brand new channel, so if you found this video valuable, we'd love your support with a like or a comment. And if you're not subscribed, don't be shy. Come back and check out another video. With that, I'm Mario Strada, and this is Hot Sheets. Don't tell your boss.